Ohio passenger rail transit is getting closer to a new future. Today, the governor announced he's seeking a share of record federal investment as he considers a possible expansion. Our Valerie Lyons shows us the effort to link the state by rail for the first time in more than 50 years. Passenger rail transit. It's been slowly chugging along in the Buckeye for decades. Where Ohio stands now is literally standing because we have no trains, so you know we can. You know, most of Ohio has no trains. The last time a train ran from Cleveland to Cincinnati was in 1967. Today, there's only three Amtrak routes in the state: two daily through Cleveland and the Cardinal, running through Cincinnati's Union Terminal just three days a week. And if you're anywhere in between, you literally are standing waiting, uh, and have been since 1979. Uh, which was the last time a train went through Columbus. But Ohio could soon be speeding down a different track. Governor Mike DeWine taking the first step toward expansion Wednesday, applying for a total of $1 million through the Federal Railroad Administration. He's focusing on the possibility of two main corridors, a new route connecting Cincinnati to Cleveland through Dayton and Columbus, and another running through Cleveland, Toledo, and Detroit. If approved, the FRA would hire a consultant to survey each corridor to determine their feasibility. This is more than just being able to, for any of us to get on, get on a train and ride where we want to go. For rail transit advocates like Stu Nicholson, the news comes as light at the end of a long tunnel. He stresses both the logistical and economic benefit it could bring to the state. Companies that are, that are based in Ohio, for instance, Procter & Gamble or General Electric in the Cincinnati area, if they want to expand and, and add more people, they want to basically draw upon the largest possible workforce to make that happen. Rail does that. Compared to nearby major cities, Cincinnati's ridership is the lowest, sitting at just above 7,000 in 2021. But if Ohio moves forward with expanding passenger rail transit, it could mean also boosting service to existing lines, like adding extra stops to the Cardinal and thus more options for travelers. Outside Union Terminal, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News. Back in 2010, Ohio was even closer to expanding passenger rail service. The federal government granted $400 million to build the Cincinnati to Cleveland corridor, but Governor John Kasich opposed the idea and gave that money back.